Building Global Sustainability. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 543. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm Executive Director of One Community Global, and this is our August 16th, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is building global sustainability. And everything you see happening in the background of this video is our what we are open sourcing and designing free shared plans for as sustainable infrastructure. And it's not just housing. Our sustainable infrastructure covers food, energy, housing, what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, uh, education, economics, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting all this stuff together to create an evolution of sustainability and we're open sourcing and free sharing the tools, tutorials, resources, and do it yourself instructions for building global sustainability with all of these combined to create teacher demonstration hubs designed to teach other people how to replicate everything that is that we're open sourcing and not just replicate but to be able to evolve it in whatever way works best for them and it's being designed to be replicated as either individual components or as the complete model in the form of a teacher demonstration hub and so uh related to that we have an interesting announcement if you're an eagle-eyed viewer you might notice that we are publishing this on August 16th, which is a Wednesday, instead of our usual Sunday, even though we already published one on Sunday. And the reason why is because we have finally put into place the management teams and structures and administrative team capable of managing 100 plus people as an organization. So when we talk about building global sustainability, one community now is, has developed the software necessary for us, custom software necessary for us and to be capable of managing teams of hundreds of people uh, working around the world as a virtual team working on one community's goals in addition to our physical team that will be building and constructing everything you see happening in the background of this video and on our website. And so the reason why we're publishing this on a Wednesday is because uh, we are now capable of producing these weekly progress updates and managing our current team, which is more than 90 people, all of their work, reviewing all of their work, giving feedback on all of their work, and producing these weekly progress updates in 24 hours. And doing that is a stepping stone to being able to build our team to 200 by the full 200 active volunteers by the end of this year, and to be able to maintain a 200 to 300 person volunteer team indefinitely. And to be able to produce our weekly progress updates and share all of their work in our weekly progress update written blogs uh, within 24 hours, which is a huge accomplishment. And it's a testament to the, the, the power and the amazing functionality of the software that we've developed for being able to manage and organize all that, which we're about to go into phase two of our software, which now talk about building global sustainability. It's about managing building global sustainability infrastructure construction on the ground and being able to, to run open source, uh, reports as we're managing that, managing uh, the tools, the materials, the equipment, rental equipment, on-site injuries, on-site learnings, uh, everything that's necessary to be able to replicate what it is that we're doing and be able to run objective uh, data reports at the end of a construction process to be able to break that construction process down into all these different component parts. So for something like the city center, we'd be able to run a report on say, just the elevator or the natural swimming pool or the commercial kitchen or footer foundation and flooring or finishing work or doors and windows or whatever component we want. And we would be able to say, look exactly what we have. Here's everybody that, that contributed to this as far as uh, helping to build it. 
Here is everybody, here's all the materials that were used. Here's exactly what equipment was used. Here's exactly what tools were used. Here's exactly how many labor hours went into this. Here's exactly how much it all costs and be able to open source, share that, and to be able to use the software to manage other organizations willing to open source and track their data at the same level as members of our highest good network open sourcing and free sharing their content and their contributions as well and their construction process so that we compare, can compare them side by side and objectively quantify this building global sustainability process and make the whole process more efficient and effective. And so that is a long answer for why we're producing this on Wednesday. Our goal is to get the next one out now from now on to be producing these on Mondays instead of Sundays because our work week and our software closes the week uh, Saturday nights at midnight Pacific time. And so that gives us basically giving ourselves uh, 24, 30, 30, 36 hours to be able to produce the whole blog and to be able to go live with that. Our goal is to go live with that sometime around noon on Monday specific time for me to be able to read that and be the final reviewer and then to share that in our weekly team calls that we do. And so obviously I'm ridiculously excited about this. It's a very different blog than what we normally share because I'm talking about what's going on with us instead of more general talk. But you know, when we talk about building global sustainability, we're talking about looking at the complete human experience and building sustainable civilizations. Building sustainable civilizations and looking at it and saying, if we if we have the ability, we have the resources, uh, we're capable of living completely in integrity and doing everything sustainably. And so one community has been working for over a decade now to create the plan specifically for that. And so for us to get to the point where we're now starting to hire managers and have those managers managing small teams so that I can now manage managers managing small teams and grow the team to 200 when it's already at 90, which is the largest uh, volunteer team that we've ever had, to now double that hopefully by the end of this year and then look to triple that to go to 300 sometime next year, that is taking our whole process to a whole new level. You know, and this is all volunteers with an accountability process and they're reporting on their week at work on a weekly basis and they're logging their time daily as they're doing work and maintaining that and they're committed to a minimum of 10 hours each contributing to the project. So this isn't just like, hey, we've got a bunch of people in software. These are people actually doing work, getting things done, checking off action lists and working towards this goal of building global sustainability with tangible results. And so it's a big deal it's exciting and so uh yeah our goal here within the next year is to have you know a 10 person administrative team plus our core team plus myself helping manage all this and managing this team of 200 people producing all this work and reporting on it on a weekly basis continuing to put out these videos just like i am right now but just accelerating and exponentially increasing our productivity uh, because we'll have so many more people working on the project so this is our path to building global sustainability. This is how we're doing it. This is what we're up to. This is, uh, if you want to read, see more about the software I'm talking about, visit uh, our website or just Google Highest Good Network one and, and you'll see the Highest Good Network software, what it's all supposed to be doing. We're about to launch phase two within the next couple weeks, which means wrapping up phase one, putting all the finishing touches on that, and then we'll launch phase two. And once phase two is up and settled, we'll go back to hiring more architects and engineers because we've been very focused on software engineers for the last six months or so to wrap this up so that we could scale our team. You know, And this software is designed to bring others into the software as well to help so that we can work in collaboration and cooperation with other organizations. And of course, the software is all open source. So people can take the software, you can download it, you can uh, use it however you want. And so, um, but we're designing it for a very specific purpose and helping us build in global sustainability and global sustainability systems because we are the number one GSS global sustainability systems organization in the world. And um, we're growing like crazy. So if you're into this kind of thing, if you like what it is I'm talking about, you like a weekly dose of positivity and progress towards a sustainable civilization, subscribe to our newsletter. If you'd like to help us out in the easiest way possible, like, 
uh, this video, maybe make a comment on it, watch it to the end because it helps our algorithm. If you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. If you'd like to see all the specifics, the new format and structure of our weekly progress update blog, what that looks like and how we've updated that, now how we're organizing into teams instead of reporting on every single person individually, which was getting impossible with 90 people. So now we have teams that report on as groups so that we can scale to two, 300 people and be successful with that. Visit our written blog. And of course, if you'd like to access all of our open source content, you can visit our website and uh, there are hundreds of pages and tens of thousands of hours of work that's gone into this project and it's all there. It's all open source. It's all free shared. It's all accessible on the web. Don't need to contact us. Like Wikipedia, the information is just there to be used. So with that said, thanks for watching the end. Stick around for another two to three minutes if you want to see bullet points on all the major components of our project. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The One Community Approach to Highest Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.